What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a Red Dead Online video for you today and something interesting sort of happened on the recent patch update which was Monday. But first off if you're new around here be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for my latest content just like this. So Monday just gone we received a patch update to just add some fixes to the game you know it's, the game's never really fixed is it you know we have nothing but problems in Red Dead Online and I speak for many players but we are getting sick of it you know we just want to enjoy the game for what it is but we can't seem to do that because there are so many bugs in the game so on Monday apparently the rumours are that the small lobbies that we've had for a few weeks now have been nerfed YouTubers have gone ahead and done videos explaining that these small and solo lobbies have been nerfed. Well, I'm in a lobby right now, guys, and I'm in with four players. It, it, it's not been nerfed. I, I, I believe Rockstar done these small lobbies on purpose to help spawn in legendary animals and free roam events, random events, you know, all that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and go straight into a new session. Now, I may have less players. I may have a couple of more players. But it's not the point. It, the point is, you know, that why would they nerf the small lobbies and just add a few extra players in? There's, there's still no full lobbies. So, I don't think Rockstar has gone ahead and nerfed anything. Um, it's just the software of the game maybe more players are getting into lobbies at the same time but as you just saw there guys there's still small lobbies legendary animals are still spawning in uh, f uh, you know free roam random events on on the map are still spawning in um, but sometimes they're not because the game is broke anyway we know the game's broke it's been broke for a while and I highly believe that the game will never be fully functional until we hit next gen consoles which will be in November, but we won't have, you know, Red Dead on next gen um, until later later next year, maybe. Um, but but for the bugs, yeah, I believe we're we'll all, we're always going to have the bugs for some time still. You know, maybe it's just something we need to get used to. We shouldn't have to get used to it because it's a game. It should be fully functional, but that's that's just Rockstar Games. I don't think they're fully functional themselves. You know, all they care about is is the money, as we know. But I'm just, I'm not cutting content here, guys. I'm going to let you guys fully see me load into another lobby. Again, we may have a couple more players this time, but we may have less players. Before I started this recording, guys, I was in with one player. Then I changed session. I was in a lobby on my own. And then after that, I thought, yeah, let's do a video. Because everyone, you know, a few a few people are saying it's nerfed, um, but I don't think it is nerfed. They're just some lobbies you'll have a few more players in, but then some lobbies you may have no players at all. So yeah, let's have a look. I've just loaded into a lobby, and last lobby we had four, and boom, right, okay. So this is a lot more players. So, but it's again, yeah, it's it's a lot more players than the last lobby, but it's still not a full lobby. There's I counted ten players there. There's ten players, eleven including me. That's half a lobby, and that's probably the most I've seen in the lobby t till now <laughs> for for a while. So. Yeah, you know, it depends on the lobby you land in. You you may have up to ten like I just did but you could load into the next lobby and have two players one player or you may even be on your own but that is the case for me I think it's just down to the lobbies you go into so I'm going to speed up the gameplay on this one guys it took me a bit longer to load in and I did have a disconnection from <laughs> from the uh, servers as you'll see in just a minute but that's just typical Rockstar games and it's, I feel it's normal you know, when I'm playing their games now, I expect to be disconnected or something going wrong. So it, you know, it hurts less when it when it happens. But yeah, you know, it's 
it's you know rocks you know people are putting it out you know that there's a nerf what you know rockstar wouldn't nerf it why would they nerf it they they done these to the they made the lobbies smaller on purpose so the game works better which it did it, you know so many players are happy with the small small lobbies because legendary animals are spawning in um you know random events are spawning in on the map you can sell your trader goods your moonshine with ease with no griefers on the map now i believe the people that are complaining that they don't want the small lobbies they want big lobbies you know they're more or less the griefers maybe they just want to put up a fight but there you go guys i loaded it into another session and i'm in with four players yeah <laughs> so it just depends on the lobby you land in so I'm in with just four players so that's good enough for me to get legendary animals to spawn in but I could load into the next one and I'll be on my own or I'll be with one player so a nerf I don't think a nerf happened I think people were just landing in lobbies with plenty more players um, but yeah and I just loaded into another one once again and four five six there's six players in here with me which again is considered a very small lobby so we still have small lobbies sometimes if you're lucky you'll land in a solo lobby or you'll be with just one player don't get me wrong when you land in a, a, a lobby like that on your own or with one player preferably stay in it <laughs> especially if you're selling trader or moonshine but other than that you know we we have small lobbies still and yeah let's just try and enjoy it and I believe Rockstar did this on purpose, again to spawn in legendary animals and all that good stuff. And when they have a fix, I'm sure they'll they'll put that fix out, or they might even just wait to next gen consoles, because we do have updates coming for Red Dead Online before the year is up. So it's probably they've probably thought ahead and thought, yeah, let's keep the lobby small so our future updates to the end of the year will run smoothly. So that is the video guys, thanks for your time, if you enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up, it would be appreciated, if you're new around here be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, I'm SG and I'll catch you guys next time.